Uh, the Jack Eichel saga looks like it's coming to an end a little bit here. And I got a bit of a theory on this, but I'm going to read you what was written in the uh, Associated Press. So obviously, you know that he's got a herniated disc in his neck. Jack wants the surgery. The Sabres do not want him to get it. They think they can rehab it out. And depending upon who you talk to, I've talked to a couple like back and neck specialists about this. They'll tell you that, listen, rehab in the long term is way better because surgery can cut your career shorter. And they'll say that with any injury. But sometimes it depends on the severity of it. Herniated, with a herniated disc, the only way to fix it sometimes is to have surgery. So um, the agent texted and said this to uh, an Associated Press reporter named Peter Fish. We are communicating with the team and are heading towards a resolution. That's as much as we know. But it means that there's been progress. And I wonder if the progress of this on both sides is, hey, listen, we can't get a deal done until we resolve the medical issue, until we get some sort of confirmation. And I want you to think about this as you're the acquiring team. So you're the Rangers, you're Philadelphia, who Rangers of Philadelphia who seem to be in on every big name player this offseason, maybe even Colorado. Vegas has called. We know that with, you know, and, and rightfully so, they need a top line center. This is a guy that's going to come in and take 12.3% of your cap. That's a huge number. 10 million sounds big. 12.3% of your cap. You better make sure he's playing or you know exactly how long it's going to be before he plays. And I think the injury status of Jack Eichel affects his value on the open market because Buffalo is probably looking at this going, well, we're not, you guys aren't making fair deals to us. And they're saying he's injured and yeah. you haven't come to a resolution and we don't know what we're getting. So how are you going to expect me to give up 10% or sorry, 12% of my cap for a guy that is a big fat fucking question mark? I just don't. So I feel like, Jack wants to move on. The Sabres want to move on. They probably are like, okay, it's in our best interest to figure this out because he's not moving until then. I think we're either like three days away from a Jack Eichel trade or three months. Yeah. Interesting. Like it's, it's, uh, I, with Seattle so close, the expansion draft so close, like there's a, there's a deadline here, man. Like mm -hmm. we got shit to plan. And if you're one of the teams, uh, vying for Jack Eichel, I'm screaming at the Sabres every day on the phone saying, you know, listen, I'm going to have to be out at some point. Um, like maybe, maybe the move for the Sabres here is handle this medically mm -hmm. and just tell everybody, listen, we're still going to get something done. It's going to have to wait. If I'm one of the other 31 GMs, I don't trade for Eichel until I see him on the ice again. I think this is probably like a November move. Like, hey, you get all your medical stuff done with Buffalo, and then we'll trade for you. Well, and then if that if that's the case, Jesse, he might not play till January or February. Why would you trade for him in that case? It's a good question, especially Sabres because are... acquiring teams want to be competitors for the playoffs. Sabres are in an incredibly right? tough spot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, waiting might be the best plan of attack, but who's to say Jack Eichel is ever going to suit up for you again? Like you, they may not, we don't know that. I'm not saying that he wouldn't, but do we know for sure that Jack, like, and, and really what kind of Jack Eichel are you going to get? Let's say he gets out on the ice and he's not motivated. Not that Jack Eichel would be that type of player, but we or saw worried. what happened with, you saw what happened with Pierre-Luc Dubois. And I'm not saying that he's going to go out there and, and, and just, you know, go for a leisure skate and do nothing, but he might, he's not going to be a hundred percent in hard in it. Jack Eichel. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're Buffalo, do you hurry up a deal because you're afraid he'll never be Jack Eichel again? Or if you're another team, do not trade for him because you don't think he's going to be good again. I'm curious about what the market is. If it's three teams, they all seem to be of the same opinion that, yeah, we're not going to like, I bet, I bet Kevin Adams has got three guys offering similar packages and he wants one more piece to pull the trigger. And none of those teams will offer it because of this medical issue. It seems like it is right. Like it's three or four teams. New York always has been in on this. Vegas is now apparently in uh, Philadelphia is in on everybody. <laughs> Colorado might be, I don't know. We'll the Kings see. Kings now. Kings uh, now, I guess, just, I guess. Um, <laughs> Kopitar and Eichel up the center would be pretty scary, by the way. Yeah, not bad, eh? Um, Sabres fans have been through so, so much. Mm -hmm. And I think the Sabres have to be delicate with their feelings because uh, you think I'm annoyed with the Leafs. 
I mean, Sabres fans have no reason to be happy with the Sabres at all. So what could be psychologically for the, for the fan base? Good for them. You get the Eichel deal out of the way. There's a week or two for, you know, you let fans be upset. Um, you, you, you let the, you let the pain happen. Hopefully it dissipates a little and then, you know what you get to do draft first overall. Yeah. Draft first overall, you get everyone fired up and excited about that. You take this kid you, and you go, look at this friggin' kid. This is the new guy. This is plus all the stuff we got for Jack, whatever that is. This is the Buffalo Sabres of the team in the future. Like, like to me, that's, that's the move. That's, that's the move psychologically, but I don't know how you get max value for a guy with a hurt neck. What was the Edmonton uh, tweet when they traded um, Taylor Hall and they signed Milan Lucic and that, and they were like the, the, one of the writers in Edmonton's like, well, if you look at the Taylor Hall deal, like they were able to get Milan Lucic on it as well, then it's a pretty solid move. It was, which is way bad now. (laughs) Taylor Hall for Puglia Yarvi and, and Lucic and, it's oh, mm, it's not good anyway no. but i mean maybe buffalo is looking at it that way i don't know i don't know it's it's it, it's curious to me because we were saying you know last round we were hearing they were days away from an eichel deal i think the medical thing has to be the thing holding it up otherwise it's a can't miss trade you you, you do what you can to get it